Hi, I'm Nigel Gardner. Welcome to my channel. There are just three things that I think everyone should take from Hendrix's playing to begin with. So let's jump straight into the first one, the E-shaped bar chord. Okay, so that was me playing an A major and I based it around that E shape, the bar chord on the fifth fret. The Hendrix school of thought would suggest we use root, third, fifth, and a bass with our thumb. We have the bass note. So, just four notes. The A string is blocked with my third finger, sometimes my thumb as well. And the E string down here is blocked right now, but we might use it in a second. So you've just got these three, the triad, root, third, fifth, a, C sharp, E, and then you've got your extra A in the bass. So what we're going to do with this chord shape is use the little finger to incorporate, like I said, this was root third fifth, so the little finger can play the fourth note, which is fret seven of the G string in this case. giving it that sus4 sound. And if we play the little finger on the seventh fret of the B string, we get a sixth, a major six. Now, if we do make that a slightly more of a bar chord, if I play two notes with one finger, then I've got root, third, fifth, root again. And it means we can then have that nine. You might call it a second. As soon as you involve a third, you tend to call a second a ninth. So we've got ninth, sixth, fourth. That is super useful when you're trying to play some rhythm with that bar chord. Okay, onwards to the next most useful thing you can learn from Hendrix's playing, in my opinion. I'm going to take a C major chord, and this is in the A shape. And then I'm going to use the G shape. But not all of it, really just the middle strings which is going to be 7, 5, 5, 5. So you've basically got 3, 5, 5, 5, 7, 5, 5, 5. Okay, now here's two bars of D major using just those two shapes and switching between both of them. So we've got this 3rd, 6th and ninth. Super useful if you're just playing with root third fifth to be able to go in that lick I also use the um, the fifth I went up to the it's quite a nice little I often find Hendrix would do little kind of low stuff and then high like Okay, lastly, here is an E major chord played in a C shape. Let's take a listen. Okay, so you might notice from the tab there, we're not going to be using the little finger because we don't need it right now. In this example, we have the E in the bass here. So by taking off these fingers, we're getting quite a vague sound um, by including the 7th, the major 7th, and the 9th. It becomes quite a vague sound, it's technically B major over E, but because it's so brief, the tonality is still E major. Um, but it's just a useful thing. We've also got the, the, the higher 9th up here. And the 5th. All right, thanks guys. I hope that made some sense. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. The Patreon I have now, which I'm very proud of, is slowly growing. Uh, all of the diagrams here and the tabs, everything's available for free on there. So go over and grab it. The link's in the description. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again for another video. Here's a Hendrix chord to take us out.